stuff don't cut, is it? He took a chunk and gave it to me. That stuff is strong. Yeah. That got a strong, strong odor. So I can't wait to see the middle of it to see how much is actually in the middle. So y'all might want to turn your volume down. Get on to him here to make about wearing safety glasses. He got his gloves. should always wear your safety glasses. They all say, safety first. Oh yeah, I found another hiding spot. Right up under there is a big bucket of fat wood. In his shop he's building, there's another 30 pounds, he said, so. Yeah, he's he's got a problem. But I guess as long as he's got a problem, I got free fat wood. <laughs> I like free fat wood. is supposed to be your way, not our way. Uh, I said, Haynes is supposed to be your way, not our way. That's hard to cut. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Man, I've watched people cut fat wood on video, but man, it's like a big old knot. So the middle doesn't dry it up. I hope it does have a lot of fat wood in it. Whoever's watching this, I, I, I need some advice. You see the chunk on the bottom? He wants to save this to preserve it, not preserve it, but uh, to put it up. He's gonna try to put a coat of wax over it so it doesn't dry up, or put it in plastic and you'll suck the air out and seal it. But he's gonna be selling this here pretty soon for extra money for him and his family. How should he chunk it up? Y'all, I need some advice on how should he do this?
spark fly. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up some shavings, put in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> smell. Oh my god, that smell is so strong. Shit, that shit right there wore me out. Yeah. Look at that beautiful stuff. Oh, that's strong. That's stout right there. Making my eyes burn. Hmm. Yeah, I need to pick up some of that sawdust and put it in some Ziplocs. Shit, throw a spark right there. <laughs> yeah, I, I got I got my ferro rod. That thing's been Look at that. holding true. Look at it. Yeah. Wow. Damn. Woo! Ugh. See, I never knew it. I mean, I've watched a lot of videos, but I never knew it went running that deep and that thick. Not all of them do that, though. That's all weird, right. because the ones that I found... Back there, so yeah. they didn't have. Well, I had the roots over there. This one was just a big, big tree, I guess. And that was at Arkansas, right? Mm -hmm. uh. It's an Arkansas finest. All right, that wore me out. <laughs> but anyway, like I asked you guys, what do you think you should do to uh, keep this to where he's going to sell it later? You know, sell it by the I don't know, bag or whatever. You think he should leave it in blocks like he's cutting? Keep it in big blocks and then put a uh, wax on the outside to where he cut. That way it doesn't it doesn't dry up. But um, anyway, y'all give me some um, advice. What should he do so he can sell this stuff and uh, try to make a little extra money for him, his old lady, and the four kids? But I want to thank all of y'all for watching. You have a blessed night and God bless mm. you.